What is the scariest thing in Team Fortress 2? Is it the bots? Is it the Halloween season? Is it that crushing feeling you get when you top both the scoreboard and the log but your team still loses every round? And no matter how hard you try, you can't stop your team from getting angrier and angrier, which only causes you to lose faster and faster because you're too busy focusing on the problems of other members on the team instead of focusing on working together to overcome it? It's actually none of those. It's not being able to press the S button. Either way, I grabbed a bunch of pro players and shoved them onto product with one small change. Every player bound S to explode. <laughs> it's already happening! Stop pressing S! <laughs> he held us! I'm losing it as there's so many people. <laughs> there goes, there goes River. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm 0 and 3. <laughs> I've only died to myself. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Medstead, Medstead, Medstead! No! I, uh, I can't deny that some might find it weird that TF2 has a Halloween mode and tons of Halloween maps, and yet I chose to use Bind Desk to Explode as the Halloween episode. But, be honest, what's scarier? Ghosts, ghouls, and burb heavy, or the realization that things change. Time marches on, uncaring if you're ready or not. And just because something feels safe, that doesn't mean you can rely on it and cling to it. Obviously, the ghosts. But nobody showed up the days I tried to run those, so here we are. I'm not Uber. Sniper's on the kill. Right. Right, if any of you kill yourself on roll out, you suck. Saturation killed himself on roll out. No. As we get into mid, there is another two, and they are dropping like flies right here. I'm just gonna wrangle and they're gonna like fear. Step for clip. <laughs> Shit. Oh, whoops. I don't actually. River killed himself on a two hole play. You need to get. You can't run away. You can't run away. You can't run away. If only our soldier could like bomb him. I'm on the case. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh my goodness. Nobody killed the sheep. Got my first kill. Why is it a heavy? Fuck. No, I did it. Right there. That's where the horror comes in. It's that jump scare realization that hits right as you hit that button. Right as you see your character explode. That shock you feel. That's the horror. You know, you can't you can't even describe the, the chaos that's going on right now is people are just randomly dying. Yeah, don't die right now, guys. Don't press S. Oh, I just I had to test it. I had to make sure I wasn't cheating. No, no, I uh, Spy and gun. Spy and medic. <laughs> well, good try. We got the sap that time at least. Proud of him. Dude, what the fuck? Man, I'm not even pressing it. <laughs> do, do, you have, do you have other keys bound to explode? <laughs> and this is where the horror hits. When you start to doubt yourself and your abilities. There's no way you pressed it. Maybe it was a finger slip or your keyboard glitched. But you know not to press the button. So there's there's no way you actually did. This is so bad. God, I hope this isn't the uh, the gimmick for the next bug. Wait, can we just? What if we just bound? What if we just bound a different key to walking backwards and just use that? I wrote the throwaway 15 years of muscle memory. 15 years. Next time, make it to win limit two. There's a helpless feeling that hits your stomach when you become desperate. Thoughts hit your head like, maybe we could just unbind S. Or can we just go to medieval mode again? But that's the horror. You've gone from solving the problem to minimizing it. I wasn't fast enough to bid, my soldier didn't whip me. Sorry, I don't whip worthless players. Can I have a sandwich, uh, by the way? The TD? No, I don't sandwich worthless players, sorry. <laughs> how how do you hold S on rollout? What are you- What? 
What the I'm fuck? I'm so terrified of holding God that I just end up in the damn it. The anger takes over and starts to swell inside of you. Stupid game. Stupid keyboard. Stupid rules. You start to lash out at what's around you. Maybe this time it's your keyboard or your teammates, but you are not the one that made the mistake. The horror doesn't come from lashing out against some monster under the bed that you can blame. The horror comes from realizing that the only monster is the one taking anger out on his surroundings. Okay, these plugs are actually incredibly unfun. There's just no cap. These plugs are incredibly unfun. But I will still play them because I want the, uh, Twitch clout. I was supposed to press S to back into the corner. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm like, again, I'm like staring, I'm like thinking, not at all about my mouse or my crosser, but just my movement. We're playing TF2 here. I, dude, I, I'm gonna be honest, bro, I kind of have a headache from like focusing too hard on not pressing S. As the anger subsides and the realization sets in, you start to realize how pointless fighting is. How pointless trying to survive really is. If you are being attacked, do you stay and fight, but risk dying? Or do you try and save your life to risk dying anyway? You know that nobody can live forever. And that's where the horror lies. Not knowing it, but becoming numb to it. Dude, that's so, I saw that. Okay, can... oh, I... That was a spy! Putting <laughs> forward onto point, knowing that's the safest place. Some great backwards movement by Friend Muncher. I believe that's Rona. Able to uh, stay alive despite taking steps back, which is something, you know, an advanced tech. We haven't seen too many players here be too good at. <laughs> Argeo's making all these pugs to condition invite players oh to play better. Yeah, this it was just too bad. So, some really interesting workarounds to uh, to this rule we're seeing here. Not sure if there's anything else. We see the level threes, we see the Eureka effect, we see the back burn. It's something I'd like to see uh, Austin maybe pick up on as well, just because it's very smart. At this point, a whole game has been played. You've normalized the danger as if it was always a problem, accepting that you can't enjoy things as you used to. And isn't that the real horror in all of this? This episode was actually brought to you by me. I did the work. Me and my incredibly messy apartment. If you want to support the YouTube channel, uh, just keep watching videos as you have been. But there is also that join button down there that you can click on. And that will give you access to a bunch of exclusive content. Uh, primarily the VODs, the full, we got uh, the modes all casted. So if you want to see the medieval mode or the current, you know, bind S casted VOD. Yeah, go ahead, look through there. Those are all on the member section, and we also plan to put out a bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff in the future as well, so you guys are going to get a ton of exclusive content. All you got to do is hit that, that join button and become a, a member of the channel. We got tons of exciting stuff for you guys in the coming times, but for now, that's that's all I got.